Welcome back to beautiful Stockton, California for the second round of the OTP Open presented by MVP Disc Sports. Holland Hanley will carry a one-stroke lead into moving day, but the world's best are hot on her heels. Can Hanley hold them off and carry a lead into championship Sunday? You'll find out live on the Disc Golf Network. Sarah, let's watch some disc golf. Let's go. Starting out with a C2 make. She made three of those yesterday. She's really finding her legs from deep. Jumping ahead. Stacy Kiefer for birdie. There she is. Snags it. That's a pretty line. That flip up with her putter. She is dialed. Win, T of three. Oh my. Stabling up just in time, leaving her a short putt for birdie. Danica on hole three. She's got both sides too, Sarah. And this is. Looking like it. Big skip into the pin. Oh, that'll do. Starts it off just like she finished it, 100% C1 and wow. ready on the C2s. I don't even know if that was C2 or not, but. I think we can give her C2 I, on that one, yeah. right? Either <laughs> way, step out. once again, she made it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, so that slip flex. <laughs> there you go. Scott gets in her second on two. Flexing it around this tree. Oh my gosh. There's the airspace. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can Hanson match the forehand of Scoggins? Kind of looks like it, Sarah. Similar entry point. Deep of the basket. Can she get there? Uh, that's a yes. They're dealing early, Sarah. Wow. She seems very comfortable with that shot, Sarah. Oh, yeah. She, that's beautiful. She'll have a look for another birdie. Making moves. Beautiful. That is her first C2 of the weekend. Okay. With the Heiser putt, that also works. It sure does when you're that good. Cat Merch showing off from circle two. I think they all saw Holland pretty close and thought, okay, she's okay. gonna make this. We better put this one in the basket. Scoggins, so you snuck Justin's. Oh, circle's edge. Yep. Are we going to get a star birdie when three people miss their shot tee shots? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I hope so. That'll be, gosh, is that going to be two in a row? The level is high out there, Sarah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Holland's shorter than I thought. She is. Test her. And now a little pressure after. Tons of pressure. Yeah. Oh, she's showing that she has no problem with that kind of pressure. Avoids the triple big putt. And three in a row, she's having the same start. That is fun. In the forehand line with the backhand shot, Sarah. This surprises me. Look how far she got up there. That is 80 feet past where Owen is. This drive was massive, Huge. wasn't it? Got more of the lateral look, and it, that gap opens up really nice. And now she's fading way up there. And closer and than Holland, I believe. I really like how she played that hole. Mm -hmm. No fear. That backside is so dirty. Wow. Five in a row. That could have rolled to 45-50 if she Absolutely. missed. Absolutely. Wow. There's not a lot of airspace once you get close to the basket, so those, those trees are kind of in the way. So I do think you need to play something stable that's going to get fade. She did get the fade. Excellent. Nice. Beautiful. Right next to that oak. Easy. Beautiful putter to the bullseye. 
fantastic pace control. Wow. Wow. Oh. Throws the technical line, gets it in there, and then gets a weird reaction off the roots. Beautiful. Oh, that's great. Ellis cooled off a little bit, so this birdie may get right back in it. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> you know, as a hyzer putter, if you're going to try to make a I putt like that, it needs so. to be that skill, and clearly she's dialed today. Merch from the parking lot. <laughs> this is a powered by knock of a moment for Cat Merch. Merch is cashing in on what a difficult line. Look how far this is. Well outside the circle to an elevated pin with OB behind it. Closer and it's, if it misses, it's coming down on a roller angle. A lot of cut angle. Oh, correct so. It's cooking. That did the job. Yep. Love it. Speaking of 10, Hansen on the tee. Great height. Yesterday she kind of threw it into this tree and it dripped, uh, dropped, uh, dropped down, and today she's inside the circle. Scoggins nailed a 50 footer for Birdie on this yesterday. Hoping for a closer attempt today. I don't know though, Sarah. That thing's stable. That's the same spot. <laughs> That's the same spot. <laughs> yep. Own is uh, owning. She is. Nerves of steel. Huge putt from Hansen. Now you see the advantage of that right line. You can just throw a hyzer in, Sarah. Back to 11, Merch, her second. That's great. That's pretty tricky. A lot of people are not going to go over the water, but she's close enough to that gap that it makes a lot of sense for her. Is not phased by the water in the background. Putty used to be her Achilles heel, and now it's almost an advantage over the field. That's going to be a big factor on Perk. swinging this. Talk to us about the wind here on these second shots for 12 as we watch Hanley. Yeah, it just started to gust up as hauling through, and it's a bit more of a left to right than it is a headwind. So I imagine Holland going back in, Ella actually going to use the wind here, so she's going to need to commit it pretty wide. Yeah, she's got nine speed. She's looking pretty wide. And that's flat, and the wind is helping it swing. That's at the back edge of the circle. Pretty scary putt, but she's on the green. Paige Pierce with authority. Wow. Really nice bounce back birdie from the drop zone. Scoggins for par. It's good. You kind of knew it, didn't you, Sarah? You have a feeling? Oh, yeah. She's made three today. She made four yesterday. She is special. Wow. Uh, that is the third putt in a row where she has had death behind it and her sixth birdie in a row. Needs to sneak through those blockers. And she does. Ooh. Wow, that almost went in the hole. I almost flashed the chains. That skip was so high. It definitely did. Wow. Wow. 
That is a clutch putt. Only Beely being able to push off that left foot because her right foot was on that weird root. Birdie's on seven of the last eight. Now on the tee of 15. This looks great. With the fade up into the green, that's another putt. Can she make it 10 birdies? Oh my goodness. Pushes it really far left. We're assuming this fade is gonna bring it back. <laughs> yep, it's a destroyer. That's a bullseye. That thing was out <laughs> over the OP, Sarah. There's that, yeah. <laughs> Owen just knows her flat stick. She knows yeah. what it's gonna do. Not close for Birdie, a chance to grab a stroke on the leader. Threw it inside yesterday and now throwing it outside today, but gets the skip. She's got a putt and loves it. Riding that OB line. Sarah, weren't you saying something about Hanson and double digits a couple hours ago? I think we're going to see it. Well, we're she there. has now shown us, and there's still a few holes to go. Yeah. It's wide. Will it hustle? <laughs> she made a putt from further away than that yesterday. Good. And she gets it to gain one on our tie at the top, maintaining just the one miss inside C1X today. That's a tough putt uphill into a headwind. There's a lot to navigate. And now Hanley for the solo lead once again. And Sarah, she does more than just look at it. Great speed. I think if she would have missed that, it was also going to be right there. Yeah. Way to grab that birdie. A birdie likely gives her a share of the lead again. Just so far right that she could throw the sidearm with pretty pretty ease, unobstructed, using that fairway. Staying safe the whole time, Sarah. She threw it deep yesterday, and now she's got a little bit better look at it. Might be able to knock down that birdie to catch her buddy. Kiefer was on a heater to start the round. Slowed down. But still, this is to finish pretty pretty. Yeah. Wow, so effortless. And on two of the hardest holes on the course. Truth. The 11th birdie of the day. Flawless putting. Elle has been so impressive today. The confidence is exuding from her. This is a high level shot that Holland's trying to attempt right here with the backhand. over that OB. Gets the fade and she's got a look. The integrity of that disc, Sarah, fighting out of that anheuser Scoggins puts it on. Unbelievable. Wow. So Challenging good. that tree. The leg kick <laughs> getting her a bullseye. That means we get to watch Own tomorrow all day. Hanson, her second. Plenty of space to work it on the right. This looks great. Oh, it is. Putting pressure on Hanley now. Ooh. Wasting no time. What a quick routine. Yeah. Looked like she was maybe trying to shake some nerves uh, off. You know, you got the, the crowd is now sitting there, all surrounding the green. And Ella Hansen, a course record time, 12 down. Phenomenal play from all of these women. So few bogeys, so many birdies. 12 by Ella, 11 Holland, both bogey-free rounds. Ella's first. This sounds like it's shaping up for a two-person battle of the buddies. Yeah, it's gonna be a buddy battle tomorrow on championships on Sunday. Should be fun to watch. And a unique winner in our future. That's true. Likely. A, a, likely a first time elite series or major winner. That usually makes me cry. Hopefully what doesn't tomorrow. We'll see. We talked about how they really help each other play better when they're playing on the uh -huh. same card. Yeah, yeah. But when they're battling head to head with the monkey on both of their backs. Like on chess.com, it didn't really go. Is it going to be detrimental to their game? Is someone else going to rise from the ashes? 
or is it going to elevate both of them? Yeah, Merch is there. She's she's seven back now, but she is an elite series or major winner. You know, she knows how to do it. Knows how to close it out. So maybe she'll put some pressure on from third. We'll see. It's going to be fun. That final round pressure is nothing, nothing to mess with. No joke. Hey, everybody. Valerie Jenkins here. Thanks for watching these videos and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any disc golf coverage this year. And if you want to catch the live action, make sure to subscribe to us on the Disc Golf Network. We'll see you there.